guys, we're back with Yo Gorilla. We're going to be doing the sitting poses today. So these are good if you can't get up off the floor by yourself, or if you have trouble with balance, this is good for your core, and also with some flexibility. So let's get started. Make sure you have plenty of room around you. We're going to start with our first pose, and it's called driving. So we're going to pretend like we're driving our cars. We're going to have our legs out in front of us, straight knees. Make sure they're not bent. We want them as straight as they can go. And we're going to reach out in front. Make sure your back is up tall. So we're going to have this nice 90 degree angle. We're going to drive our car. Ready? Let's begin. We're going to do it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Our next pose is called check mark. We're going to make our check mark with our legs. So first let's start with our right leg out straight and our left leg tucked into our side. So it's going to be a nice little check. Can you see that? If you can't quite get your heel all the way in, it's all right if it's a little bit out there, but get as close as you can. We're going to stretch the back of our legs by leaning over this one straight leg. So we're going to reach as far as you can, try to touch your toe if you can, that's awesome. If not, your knee is perfectly fine too. We're going to hold it for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, let's try the other side. So switching our legs, our left leg's out straight now, and our right leg is tucked into our side. We're going to bend over the other leg. We're going to reach for our toes, reach, 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 and hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right, let's move on. Our next pose is called clamshell. We're going to close our bodies like a clamshell. The important part here is to keep your knees straight again. We don't want those bent knees because we want to make sure we're stretching the back of those legs. We're going to bring our arms up over our head and reach, 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 reach all the way forward until you touch the front of your legs. If it's your toes, you can pull them back towards you. If it's at your knees, just try to squeeze your nose to your knees. We're going to close that clamshell for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> nice job. Our next pose is slide. We're going to make a slide with our bodies. This one's a little bit tricky. We're going to have our hands behind us and our feet out straight again, straight knees. This time we're going to lift our hips up towards the ceiling by pushing into the ground with our heels and with our hands. So we're going to push, 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 squeeze those booties to make a nice little angle with your hips. So someone could just slide right down towards the ground. To make it a little bit harder, you can even lift one leg. Woo! But you don't have to do that. It's up to you. Squeeze those butts, and we're going to hold it for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good slide. <clears throat> our next pose is the W. We're going to make a big W with our arms and our legs. So bring your legs out to the side, as wide as you can get them. And then we're going to make a nice W with our legs. So down, up down, up. So the middle of the W is your hands. You're going to slide them forward as far as you can. As far, as far, as far as you can until you start to feel that pull on the back of your legs again. And we're going to hold it for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I like that one. <clears throat> Our next pose is the bench. Some people call it the crab, like maybe if you're an APE. But we're just going to hold the bench so that someone can almost sit on us. And we're going to put our hands behind us again, just like the slide. But this time our knees are bent. And we're going to lift our hips the same way up towards the ceiling. Lift, and we're going to hold it there. So someone could just sit right here as if we were a table or a bench. We're going to hold it for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. <clears throat> Moving along, we're on to boat. 
We're going to float on the water like a boat by holding our abs tight. We're going to be sitting on just our sit bones. So our feet are going to be up in the air. Let's brace ourselves first with our hands while we lift one foot at a time. One, two, and then when you feel comfortable, lift the other hand up off the ground. So you should be squeezing right here in your bellies. If you want to make it a little bit harder, can you straighten your legs so it's a nice little V? And you raise your arms up. Ooh, I feel that. We're going to hold it right here for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you have some rocky boats? Our next pose is the flutter fly. We're going to move our knees like fluttering wings. Very similar to what most people call the butterfly, but you're going to have your soles of your feet touching, and then your knees are going to be pushed down towards the ground. If you can't quite get that far and you're up here, that's okay too. We're going to push with our elbows to push them as far open as you can get them. And if you're already down to the ground, just keep fluttering those wings up and down like this. We're going to do 10 of them. So if you're pushing or fluttering, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful butterflies. Now we're going to do the butterfly catcher. We're going to catch those butterflies by reaching, reaching to each side. We're going to have one knee tucked in, and the other knee is going to stack right on top. So it's almost like crisscross, but your knees are right over each other. And then you're going to twist your body. So let's use our opposite arm. Which one do you think is opposite? If it's this way, it's the same. So same, same. We want to use the opposite. We're twisting. So opposite elbow to opposite knee. And we're going to reach, trying to catch those butterflies. You ready? Let's catch them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, now we're going to switch everything to the other side. So untangle your legs. Remember which one you had on top. We're going to put that one on the bottom now. And the top leg is going to be right on top of the knee. So we're stacking our knees again. And remember, which side is the opposite? It's not this one. We just did that one. That's the same elbow, same knee. We're going to use the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. And we're going to reach, 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 reach. Can you reach for those butterflies? We're going to hold it for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great job! Guess what, guys? We're already done. We have our last pose, and it's called the Peaceful Gorilla. This one's really quite easy, so we're just going to take some deep breaths together. We're going to hold in our crisscross applesauce position with our palms on our knees. We're going to take five deep breaths together. So we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouths. You ready? Let's take this time to relax. Breathe in and out. Let all that air escape out of your belly. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Close your eyes and breathe out. Let your heart rate relax, slow down. Breathe in and out. Let's do one more. Final inhale, breathe in. And hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And let it out. Great job. I feel so relaxed and flexible now and strong. Thank you for tuning in. Next time we're going to go through the next 10 cards, which are going to be on all fours. Can't wait to see you. Have a great day.